Have you ever wondered how balloons fly? Let's embark on a journey through time, all the way back to the 18th century, when the world first witnessed the magic of balloons. It was in this period that two French brothers, Joseph Michel and Jacques-Étienne Montgolfier, unveiled their invention to the world, the hot air balloon. This marked the dawn of a new era, the era of human flight. The Montgolfier brothers, hailing from a family of paper manufacturers, ingeniously used their knowledge of paper to build a lightweight yet sturdy balloon. They filled it with hot air, which being lighter than the surrounding cooler air, caused the balloon to rise. Their first successful flight took place in June of 1783, carrying no passengers but instead a sheep, a duck, and a rooster. This flight, albeit short, was a significant milestone in the history of balloons and flight. But the balloons of the 18th century were more than just a novelty. They served a practical purpose, too. Balloons were used for various purposes, including transportation and entertainment. They became a popular means of travel, offering a unique perspective of the world from above. They were also used for scientific research, military operations, and even for delivering mail. Over time, balloons evolved, and new types were introduced. From hot air balloons to gas balloons, each type had its unique characteristics and uses. Some were designed for long-distance travel, while others were used for advertising or as decorative elements at parties and festivals. In the realm of entertainment, balloons have played a significant role. They've been a staple at carnivals and fairs, providing joy and excitement to children and adults alike. They've also been used in movies and television shows, adding a touch of whimsy and magic to the screen. So, from the pioneering efforts of the Montgolfier brothers to the balloons we see and use today, balloons have certainly come a long way. They've transformed from being a scientific marvel to an integral part of our lives, bringing color and joy wherever they go. As we continue to innovate and explore, who knows what the future holds for these wondrous floating spheres. From the Montgolfier brothers to today, balloons have certainly come a long way. Did you know there are many different types of balloons? That's right, balloons come in all shapes and sizes, each designed for a different purpose. Let's take a flight through some of the most common types, shall we? First stop, the classic hot air balloons. These beauties are the oldest successful human-carrying flight technology. The balloon, also known as the envelope, is filled with hot air, which is lighter than the cool air outside. This difference in temperature creates the buoyancy that lifts the balloon off the ground. Hot air balloons are often used for leisurely flights, offering breathtaking views of the landscape below. Next up, we have gas balloons. Unlike their hot air counterparts, gas balloons are filled with a gas that is lighter than air, such as helium or hydrogen. These balloons can ascend higher and stay aloft longer, making them perfect for long-distance travel or scientific research. Then there are advertising balloons. These are typically filled with cold air and tethered to the ground. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes, often designed to resemble a product or a company's logo. From grand openings to festivals, advertising balloons are a great way to catch people's attention. Last but not least, we have airships, also known as dirigibles. These are large motorized balloons that can be steered. They're filled with a lifting gas like helium and have an attached engine for propulsion and a gondola for passengers. In the early 20th century, airships were used for commercial air travel, but today, they're mainly used for advertising or aerial views at sporting events. So as you can see, there's a balloon for every occasion, whether you're looking for a peaceful ride in the sky, conducting scientific research, advertising a business, or providing aerial views at a sports event, there's a balloon just waiting to lift you up. But how do these balloons actually fly? Well, the answer to that is pretty fascinating. It all comes down to the principle of buoyancy, which is the ability of an object to float in a fluid. In this case, the fluid is air, and the object is our balloon. Let's start with a hot air balloon, a classic sight in the sky. These balloons work on the simple principle that hot air rises. Why does it rise, you ask? Well, when air is heated, it expands and becomes less dense than the cooler air around it. 
This decrease in density means the hot air is lighter than the cooler air, which causes it to rise. So, inside a hot air balloon, there's a burner that heats the air. As the air inside the balloon gets hotter and hotter, it becomes lighter and lighter and the balloon starts to rise. The more the air is heated, the higher the balloon goes. And when the pilot wants to descend, they simply turn down the burner, allowing the air to cool and the balloon to gently float back down to earth. Now, let's talk about gas balloons. These are a little different. Instead of using hot air, gas balloons are filled with light gases like helium or hydrogen. These gases are lighter than air which allows the balloon to rise. Helium is the most commonly used gas because it's safer. Hydrogen, while lighter than helium, is highly flammable and can be dangerous. Just like with hot air balloons, the amount of gas inside the balloon controls how high or low it goes. So whether it's a hot air balloon drifting lazily on a warm breeze, or a gas balloon bobbing along in the sky, the principle of buoyancy is what makes it all possible. It's a beautiful dance between the balloon and the air around it, a delicate balance that allows these colorful wonders to take flight. And that, my friends, is how balloons defy gravity and take to the skies. Now what's it like to travel in a balloon? Imagine yourself floating above the earth, unhurriedly drifting through the sky, with the world's panorama unfolding beneath you. That's a balloon journey for you, a unique experience that takes you to heights and sights that are nothing short of magical. Balloon journeys offer an unrivaled perspective of the world. As you ascend into the sky, you're treated to a bird's eye view of the landscape below. The rolling hills, the sprawling cityscapes, the winding rivers, they all take on a new perspective from up there. It's as if you're looking at a live map unfolding beneath you, a view that is both enchanting and humbling at the same time. But the beauty of a balloon ride is not just in the views it offers. It's also in the serene, tranquil experience of floating in the sky. There's a certain calmness that comes with being up there, detached from the hustle and bustle of the world below. The only sounds you hear are the occasional whoosh of the balloon's burner and maybe the chirping of a bird flying by. It's an experience that's both exhilarating and peaceful at the same time. Balloon journeys are also a popular feature at festivals and special events. Imagine a sky dotted with colorful balloons, each one a spectacle in itself adding to the festive atmosphere. And then there are the special events, like a romantic sunset ride for two, or a memorable birthday celebration in the sky. These are the moments that make balloon journeys truly unforgettable. And let's not forget, balloon journeys are also about the thrill of the ride. It's the anticipation as the balloon inflates, the excitement as you lift off the ground, the wonder as you ascend into the sky, and the joy of floating with the wind. It's an adventure that's both gentle and thrilling, and one that leaves you with memories for a lifetime. So a balloon journey is not just about the destination, it's about the breathtaking views and the thrill of the ride. But wait, is it safe to fly in a balloon, you might wonder? Generally speaking, ballooning is a safe activity. However, like with any adventure, there are risks involved. Just as you wouldn't hop into a car with an unlicensed driver, you wouldn't want to soar into the sky with an inexperienced balloonist. This is why it's paramount that balloon operators are well-trained and have plenty of experience under their belts. Moreover, just as cars need regular maintenance and checks, so do balloons. Balloons should undergo regular checks to ensure they are in tip-top shape. This includes inspections of the envelope, which is the actual balloon part, the basket where passengers stand, and the burners, which heat the air inside the balloon. So while floating through the sky in a colorful balloon can feel like a whimsical dream, it's essential to remember the importance of safety. Remember, safety first when it comes to ballooning. So what have we learned today? We've journeyed through the colorful history of balloons, learning about their invention by the Montgolfier brothers in the 18th century, and the many uses they've been put to since, both for transportation and for fun, We've explored the different types of balloons that grace our skies, from hot air balloons to gas-filled ones, advertising blimps and airships each designed for a different purpose. 
We've learned about the principles that make balloons rise, whether it's the heat warming the air inside hot air balloons, or the light gases like helium or hydrogen filling others. We've also discovered the romantic and exciting experience of balloon journeys, often arranged for sightseeing, festivals, and special events. And we've delved into balloon safety, understanding the importance of experienced and trained balloonists, as well as regular checks and maintenance of the balloons. Exploring the wonderful world of balloons has been a blast, hasn't it? Remember, there's always an adventure in the sky. Thanks for watching and see you on our next adventure.